Hello, and welcome to the master class. Hi, folks, and welcome to a brand spanking new episode of The Master Class, the only guide you will need to mastering the secrets of life, success, happiness, joy, um, uh, other words like that as well. So, th- welcome, folks. This is the first number one episode. This is episode the first. Why don't I get off to a start just by introducing who I am? I'm Axel, your your professor, your guide, your guru, if you will, uh, to all the facts, all of everything you're going to need to know to just have a fruitful life, have a happy life, just live it, do it well, do it good. Why am I the one giving you this advice? Well, I've mastered just about every aspect of it, so I've been on this planet Earth for I don't know how long, so many years, numerous years. Almost, a, I can't even count how many years I've been on this planet Earth. And I've, I've accumulated a lot of knowledge. Um, I used to host a podcast called The Music Masterclass. And I thought it was a little limiting because I taught everything there is to need, you, you will ever need to know about music and how to make it in the music industry and basically how to be a success in the music industry business i did it very well (laughs) i don't mean to you know to my own horn but i I did it very well i i got some awards i uh i got some recognition a little bit of recognition okay it's it's been it's been good for me for a while here and i've been wanting to give back so here i am i'm back with the master class i'm back giving back to the general population of planet earth because guys i i i've obviously reached a a top top pinpoint on the the mountaintop i'm planting my flag it says axel on it bing bang boom i want to invite you all up here to see to see the view that's basically that's what this podcast is just come see the world from my point of view just from my perspective it's 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 nice up here So on today's episode, I want to get started with kind of a little meta episode. So what what better way to introduce a podcast about learning everything you want to know about life by teaching you everything you're going to want to know, everything you are ever going to want to know about podcasting. Now, where should I begin with my podcasting adventure? I'm going to talk about, number one, my first podcast I've ever hosted. Not the music masterclass. This was this was years and years ago. The very first podcast, one of the first podcasts ever. Uh, even even predates Serial. Honestly, it does. And that a lot of people think that's the first podcast, but this mine predates Serial. Serial. This happened in the 1990s. Um, I was living in Seattle, basically helping um, Kurt Cobain and um, Edward Vedward form Pearl Jam. And they were looking for a little bit of extra help. They were getting some good airtime on the radio, on the on, on the terrestrial radio, we'll call it. They wanted a little boost. And I'm like, guys, come over to my garage. I got some recording equipment. Don't bring your instruments. Keep that shit at home. We have no time for that shit on this fucking existence. So let's move on to my garage, we'll chat about what you guys like to watch on TV, we'll talk about your clothes, we'll find out what's funny with you, and this'll be just a new form of entertainment. Okay, no one has heard something like this. They're going to be expecting to listen in and hear something by Nirvana frontman, um, the, uh, I just said his name, Kurt Cobain, and uh, frontman from Pearl to Jam, uh, Edward Vedward, and he, they, they were up for it, and so we're in my basement in Seattle, Washington, um, Pacific Northwest, obviously, not Washington, D.C., we're writing, we are laughing, um, I'm coming up with ideas, 
and we're just recording the entire thing and that was the very first podcast <laughs> it's it's crazy how how it all how it all snowballed from that and then cereal came out and now it's just a big household name everybody knows what a podcast is you go Hey, hey, um, Mr. Smith, what's your favorite podcast? And he'll actually sit back and think about it. He'll be like, hmm, I don't know. Is it uh, Welcome to Night Vale or is it, hmm, I'm really, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the creepy one. So it's it's something like that. Um, I don't know. Uh, Tales from the Vault is really good. I, I, uh, <laughs> Ah, uh, God, I just can't come up. Now people have to fucking think about it, everyone. That's what I'm trying to get to. This is this is ridiculous. So podcasts have become something. That's what I want to get into today on the very first episode of the Masterclass Podcast. So we're going to explore it. We are going to actually take a trip to various podcasting companies and, and, places, and places of broadcast podcasting. And we are going to get down to the root of it. Let's start this exploratory investigation out. Let's take a trip to NPR Studios first, where I recorded this during the Rio Olympics. So let's, let's listen in. Okay, okay guys, I'm, okay, we're, uh, it's, it's um, like early August now. Sorry, it's kind of weird in here. Um, I'm I'm in the Empire Studios. I'm in I'm in New York City. Um, it's downtown New York. Uh, I it's it's during the Rio Olympics, so everyone from NPR is down in Rio, Rio de Janeiro. That is, I, people don't understand this. It's not Rio. It's Rio de Janeiro. They're just calling it Rio for some reason. I think it's a little offensive. So I'll finish it for them. It's they're they're down in Rio de Janeiro. Um, everyone from NPR. Uh, you know, Sarah Koenig and <laughs> Bob Boylan and uh, Ira Glass, even, they're all down there having a big old uh, orgy. And um, I just decided I wanted to take a little little adventure to their studio just to see just to see exactly what they got going on and uh, w- how, how I can match that with my podcast. I, I want, I'm kind of trying to dive deeper into podcasting as a whole. This is kind of an investigation. So I, I just want to... I can't do it while people are around, and it's kind of hard when they're here asking me questions. I just kind of want to—I just kind of want to peep, peep it, peep behind the curtain, you know. I just kind of want to take you guys with me as well. So hopefully we can we can do this. I'm hoping the janitorial staff has actually left for the evening because right now, currently, um, I'm in the closet of uh, Bob 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 Balaban. <laughs> no, that's. B- Bob Boylan, Bob Boylan's office, you know, where they do the Tiny Desk concert. Bob Balaban is somebody who looks like he should be on NPR, but he's not. I think he's just a, an actor. Um, no, I'm in Bob Boylan's office. Uh, you know, all 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 songs considered, and uh, 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 the Tiny Desk concerts and all that stuff. I'm I'm literally behind the Tiny Desk. It is actually very tiny under here, so things are kind of cramped. I'm kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm kind of uh, claustrophobic under here, but I'm kind of. Uh, 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 oh, it's okay. I, I'll, 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 I'll be, I'll be fine. So, okay, here we are. I'm gonna get out from underneath this desk, and um, we're actually gonna, we're gonna walk around um, the offices of NPR uh, here in New York City, and just take a gander at what's going on, and uh, we'll, we'll go to the different song, the different not songs, the different. Um, programs they have here like uh the morning edition or all all things considered or fresh air even with terry gross and hopefully terry gross is not hiding in her um crypto chamber which she usually does during these downtimes so i'm gonna avoid terry gross's office as, as much as i possibly can during this entire endeavor so please excuse me one second while i get out of this uh tiny desk Okay. All right, all right, here we are. Okay, all right, guys. Um, I can be a little bit louder. Um, it's empty here. There is nobody here. It, the water coolers are turned off. Uh, I I wanted water, so I I poured some into a glass, and 
it's fucking warm. It's room temperature water, and I don't know what to do about that. Do I just carry this water around with me, or do I drink it? That's it's kind of confusing. I don't want to leave it out. Um, I might put it on Bob Bab Babalam Bob Bab Bab Boylan's desk and just leave it there for him to drink. He likes he likes tepid, gross water. I don't. So here I am in NPR's offices, um, the broadcast station, the radio station, I think this is, uh, where they produce everything. It's, it, it, it's pretty cool here. Um, I don't think they actually produce radio here, to tell you the truth. I th- think uh, <laughs> there are just a bunch of desks. I'm not seeing any microphones set up, so I don't know if they actually do. I, 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 to tell you the truth, I have no idea what NPR does. They're so, they they have their national public radio. I know that. Uh, Serial, I think, is NPR related. I think. Um, other, if it's not, I'm in the wrong fucking place. That's for damn sure. Uh, I I know I know the tiny desk concerts, that kind of stuff. But we're here for podcasts. We're not here for we're not here for for these radio shows. I don't want to go and fucking talk to Diane Reem's old ass. I'm here for the good shit, you know? I, 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 I'm here for the good stuff. I am here for stuff like the stuff that they have on NPR's podcast list, which include things such as Bullseye with Jesse Thorne. That's a society and culture podcast. You're not into it. That's fine. I'm not into it. But, you know, they do fresh air. They give you fresh air podcasts. I'm pretty sure This American Life is an NPR podcast or a radio show. That's what that's what they do. They produce radio, and then they put it on to podcasts. That's a thing. That can, they can, they're allowed to do that, I, I guess. Podcasts is for everybody. Podcasts is for you. Podcasts is for NPR. Podcasts is for GM Motors, if they want podcasts is for everything i'm not here to talk about story corpse i'm not here to here to talk about ask me another i'm not here to talk about wait wait don't tell me i'm not here to talk about all of that kind of uptight podcasting that they do here at npr i want to talk about the real shit so where should i go what should i where should i go after npr I'm going to go walk into Sarah Koenig's office and just sit down for just a sec here. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Okay. I'm behind her gigantic desk. Holy crap. This is the office that Serial built, folks. Um, There are surprisingly a lot of mug shots on the walls around the, around her desk and um, very gruesome crime photos. So I don't want to be in here for too long because it's. I've tried to find the light switch. And I flicked one, but no lights came on, which is weird for an office to have that feature. I just flicked it. I flicked it, flicked it, flicked it. No lights came on. I don't know if they turned the the power off here in the entire building, but I don't think so because (laughs) there are lights on out there and um, the computers are all on. I was just playing Minecraft on, 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 on Mo Rocca's desk. And he was just, he's not here, so what does he fucking care? But he's got just pictures of himself everywhere. So it's basically like I was playing with Mo Rocca surrounding me. I don't even think he has a show on, on, on NPR podcasts. I literally think he just lives here. He has a bed in his office. I don't know why he has an office, to tell you the truth. So I'm going to get out of this fucking weird place of NPR. It's not exactly what I thought it was. I'm going to pack up my stuff. Um, This investigation is going to move on. I've got some good stuff. I think I got some good content from here. We figured some shit out. This place is uh, not good for us. Where should we head to next? I kind of want to hit up a comedy place. I I think think the comedians um, utilize podcasting just to the fullest extent it could possibly be used because comedy is all based on people listening to them and podcasting forces that interaction so comedians love it obviously so i think for our next little bit of this investigation we will take a head over to earwolf studios and infiltrate their inner layer and 
fuck with their fucking shit. But first, I think we will take a quick little break and come back. Please, don't leave. Hey, you guys want to know a little secret? Hi, it's Axel here from the Masterclass Podcast. And did you know that Des Moines, Iowa has the final Segway dealer in the United States? Well, boy, howdy they do. And Des Moines, Iowa's Segway dealership is having a closing sale. They are going out of business because Segways are going out of business and no longer being produced and are stupid. So why would you buy them? I mean, they're great. So head on down to Des Moines, Iowa to get your Segway today. And when you're at the dealership, talk to Bob, talk to Robert and say, Axel would like to talk to him because he's kind of done with this commercial partnership. I'm kind of only doing this one more time, this final one right here, because I don't want to do another one, because you're closing (laughs) your fucking doors, guy. So I don't really care how this ad goes for you, to tell you the truth. You paid for one last final spot, and this is all you're getting. So head on down to that place or don't. It's in Des Moines, Iowa. Or Des Moines. Is Des Moines in Iowa? Probably. I don't know. See you later. Bye. Okay, I'm just... I just, I, I just kind of... Alright, it's... Uh, I'm I'm in the lo- I'm in the main lobby of the Earwolf Studios and uh, there's like nobody around. Um, the doors are wide open. Uh, nobody's at the front desk. Uh, I'm I've been kind of here for a minute. I did make a little bit of noise. I kind of clapped my hands or I made I did one of these. Here, hold on. Let me. T- I, I kind of went like this. Yep. Go. Yowza. But, you know, there, I, I didn't get any kind of response, so I, I just kind of held, you know, just, just sitting here right now, so uh, I don't know what to do. I think I, I will actually take us all on, on the trip. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna continue on this investigation of podcasts, and I'm going to teach you all exactly the, the meat of what podcasting is about. I think I've touched on it already. I think we've, we've covered some good bases um, in our previous investigation at NPR. So now we're here at Earwolf Studios. Speaking of NPR, oddly enough, everybody here has like an NPR mug. Um, looking at all the desks here, I'm 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 in inside the inner part of the studio. Oddly enough, it's underground. Um, very strangely enough, I had to fucking drive into this parking garage, where then I had to drive onto a elevator which took me down even further, and then a valet then took my car from me and then proceeded to lead me to an escalator, which took me down even further, and then, and then, they hooked me up to a zip line, which took me down even further, and then I walked into the lobby and nobody is here. In fact, I'm, (laughs) I don't know how to get out of here, so this could be... A very, very long investigation. But I decided, what the hell? Let's let's do this. I got my my uh, my notepad here. I'm just flipping pages over and over again. So let's find the right page. And uh, here we are. We're in the Earwolf Studios. Um, not as wacky as I thought it would be. Uh, honestly, I thought there would be fun pictures all over the wall. It's kind of like the Mad Magazine. This is kind of like my version of Mad Magazine. You know, kids kids grew up with Mad Magazine. They had funny things to look at and read. I have podcasts that are fun to listen to. And by I, I mean we. Us as a generation have podcasts to listen to. We don't have Mad Magazine. We don't even have motherfucking Mad TV anymore. We have SNL and podcasts and NPR and Coachella. Let's let's nail it down to those four motherfucking things. That's what we have now. So let's explore podcasts. <laughs> so here we are. We're walking through Earwolf Studios. Each each 
each show they have has their own um like podcasting room a podcasting booth where they record and each each room has at least two microphones i'm gonna go, i'm gonna go straight to my favorite one i'm gonna walk right on down to the comedy bang bang podcasting booth um nobody's here luckily the room is dark i'm peering in through the window i see the five or six microphones on the table <laughs> i'm assuming i can't really count I, i'm not very good at counting especially microphones those ve- are very difficult for me to count but it's just your typical place um there are, is a big old pile of dead bodies in the corner uh, i'm not sure what that's all about but you know comedy bang bang it's a funny podcast they do characters they do jokes they do laugh a minute things and they spawned out of radio wait a second they spawned out of radio so npr produces radio that become podcast comedy bang bang was radio that become podcast i gotta write this shit down <laughs> Ooh, this is this is starting to uh this is all starting to link up guys we are uh we are we are getting into some real dingle dangle shit here, okay? NPR is a fucking goddamn son of a bitch. Oh, we are about to bust this case wide open, ladies and germs. Oh boy, and it just took a quick trip to the Earwolf Studios. Now, I think everybody here at the Earwolf Studios is at one of their podcast conventions or festivals they call them so i was thinking to myself we should we should be hitting one of these festivals up we should be at these podcasting fests these pod fests they're huge now they're massive they have all the biggest names in podcasting you know like um You know the well-known names. Uh, You don't need me to list them all off. Everybody knows all the big old names from all the big podcasts. Everything's hosted by Chris Hardwick, and everybody has a good time. So I think I might have to head to one of these podcasting festivals for our next part of the investigation. I'm pretty sure I've 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 got I've got all I need and all I'm ever gonna get from from the Earwolf Studios. So. I think I'm going to just mosey on out of here. Uh, the biggest question is, how do I get out of here? Oh, jeez. Oh, h- hi. Oh, somebody just somebody just popped up. This is very, hold on. It's a very tall looking, um, a very tall looking per thing, thing, man, I, I guess. He, I don't want to identify his gender. That's very, very rude. So it's a, do- it's a, <laughs> so I sh- shouldn't even call it a thing either. That's also very bad. It's a very tall person, human not even a human god i'm bad at describing things <laughs> holy shit it's a frankenstein there we go that paints a better picture it's a frankenstein motherfucker and now he's asking me to come this way you want me to okay i'm gonna, I'm gonna walk okay he's bringing me down this long corridor oh okay there's a bookcase down here he's got here what 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 book do you want me to show what book do you want to show me is it this grapes of wrath here is it this Grapes of Wrath? I've already I've already read it, Frankenstein. I've already read Grapes of Wrath. Which one? Which one do you want me to you want me to read this one? Oh, he's pointing a book out. Okay, I'm gonna grab it. It's Moby Moby Dick. I'm gonna I'm gonna tug it. Ooh, it's 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 hard. Here, I gotta tug it a little bit harder. Okay, here. Okay, hold on. I just gotta work it. <laughs> just gotta work it off. <laughs> here we go. Come on. Okay. Oh, oh, shit! A, a door opened. Oh my god! It's just a spiral staircase that goes. Like, uh, that's very. There's no like, uh, there's no elevator or anything. Frankenstein. I can't. This the spiral staircase here. All right. Well, why don't we take a quick break? I'm gonna walk up this fucking set of stairs that goes for fucking hours, and uh, I'll be back. Hopefully, I won't have a heart attack halfway up. See ya. Bye. Hi, I, uh, Axel here. I'd like to uh, retract a statement I said on a previous ad that might have been featured in this episode. Um, 
The dealership in question for the Segway is Donald Ford Segway dealership. I know it's confusing. You'd think it'd be a Ford dealership, but no, Donald Ford decided he'd wanted to go into the Segway dealership. Anyways, at Donald Ford Segway dealership in Des Moines, Iowa, they are not going out of business. In fact, business has never been better. I'm reading on this ad copy right in front of me that they have recently sold out of stock in the brand newest design of the Segway, the 2016 XJ9. If you want a XJ9 for yourself, you're going to have to come on down to Don Ford Segway dealership in Des Moines, Iowa, and get yourself on the reserve list because they're still being manufactured. I'm being told that they are still being manufactured and that this partnership is going to continue. So, Thank you for continuing your support of the Masterclass Podcast, Donald Ford. You don't sell something stupid. Buy his stuff and say, Axel sent you. Thanks. Bye. how to start this uh, but this investigation has led me to a very dark very scary place um, in the world of podcasts when I thought I was headed to a, a regional podcasting festival in Omaha Nebraska it turned out it was some sort of NPR cult led by Terry Gross and she uh well, I walked in. Uh, uh, let me just let me just retell the story, okay? So I pull up, I pull up, and th- th- there are tents everywhere. So I'm like, okay, this looks like a festival. This looks kind of like a good podcasting festival. I'm sure there's somebody set up in tent A, tent B. This is the yellow tent. This is the blue tent. Blah blah blah. That kind of bullshit. So I go to get my credentials. First thing off the bat, I notice a bunch of NPR signs. That threw. So many red flags off, but I pressed on because I thought hmm, maybe they're maybe they're maybe they're promoting this. Maybe this is maybe they got some podcasts here. Maybe maybe Sarah Koenig's here with a with a guy wielding a chainsaw or something. Maybe 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 Diane Reams is uh a, be, finally turned into a zombie and we're gonna talk about it on the Diane Reams show. Either way, I thought. It was above the board, and everything was safe. <sighs> so I get my credentials. That was a little bit of a ha- a little bit of a hassle. I don't want to go into it, but they did not recognize me by my face. I had to tell them my name, and then they were like, "Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> We've just never seen you before." And I'm like, "That's obviously very understandable. I'm I'm more of a podcaster. I'm I'm kind of an audio guy, not a visual man." So that's very understandable. I don't like to be in the public eye or have my picture taken or be photographed in any sort of way. So understandable, sir, understandable. But please believe me when I say who I am off the bat. And he did. So I don't know what the problem was. Oh, the problem was he didn't recognize me. That was the problem. That fucking pisses me off every goddamn fucking time. But what are you going to do? Not everybody's going to know you. Okay, I'm getting off track. I'm getting off track. So I'm, I'm walking in to Tent B. <sighs> Little did I know, Tent B stood for Tent Bloodbath. Because within Tent B was everybody from Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me, and Prairie Home Companion, and um, that one show with everything that happens from uh, Minnesota, Hosted by Garrison Keeler. I can't remember the name of his show for some reason, but I remember the guy's name. Garrison Keeler was actually in the middle of the bloodbath. This was a blood sacrifice to Garrison Keeler, just so he can stay alive for another 50 years and produce his show. A prairie, ho- not a prairie home companion. It's something like that. It's something along those lines. Either way, it's being turned into a podcast. And uh, before my eyes, Garrison Keillor himself was being turned into a podcast. All of a sudden, he shot up. 
He was behind a microphone. He had his headphones on, and he was delivering a speech into a podcast microphone recorder, much like I am doing right now. But mine is much more important than his. I got out of there immediately, especially after they asked me for a donation. I said, fuck you. I'm not giving you my blood. I'm done with this NPR bullshit. Turns out they just wanted a monetary donation, which annoyed me just so much more. I hate that. I mean, come on. You're, you, you, got, you guys have enough money. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> Government buyouts and all that. You know what I mean? You know? <laughs> You know, you know, it's, don't get me. I don't want to turn this into a political podcast, but, you know, the, you know, the government and NPR, you know what I mean? <laughs> they're just uh, brother and sister. <laughs> and uh, they're, uh, they're, uh, you know, they're, they, they, they're in cahoots. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I don't mean to, I don't mean to, I don't mean to, I don't mean to do that. I don't, this isn't a, uh, this isn't one of those podcasts. Although it could be one of these days. Maybe I'll, I'll... Let me make a note here. Remember to do episode on politics because apparently you know a lot about politics. Okay, I just had to make a note there. Sorry. So I'm walking down. Uh, the blood path is over. Garrison Keeler has been fulfilled for another 50 years. Terry Gross comes up to me, taps me on the shoulder, asks me... All, it just literally just says, all things considered? And I said, all things considered, Terry. All things considered. And that was my first uh, job offer from NPR. I decided to turn them down. I decided to branch out on my own. And here I am. Uh, let's see. What did I find out on my investigation? Oh, NPR owns everything. Everything is somehow an NPR podcast. Serial. Welcome to Night Vale, Comedy Bang Bang, um, then you're anything Chris Hardwick does. Honestly, Chris Hardwick is, I think he was birthed by NPR, to tell you the truth. I have no masters, except for myself. And my podcasting company, who runs this whole thing and pays for everything. And, you know, they're the ones who own me. <laughs> I don't mean to, t I'm, I'm just joking. I mean, they, they really own me. <laughs> it's... It's this. It's I'm, I'm serious. They really, really own me. Um, it's kind of dangerous. I don't want to go back to the. I don't want to go back to my podcast studio. It's, it's scary. It's, it's worse than the Earwolf Studios. It's much more further underground. And please don't make me go back. <laughs> nothing. 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 <laughs> nothing. Nothing. I said nothing. Fuck off. I said nothing. <laughs> Well, there you have it, folks. There's our investigation into podcasts. Luckily, we thoroughly investigated every single nook and cranny that podcasting has to offer. And hopefully, with this, you have a clearer picture of what podcasting can do for you. You want to be a content creator? By all means, go ahead. You want to compete with me? I don't give a flying fuck what the fuck you do. You want to know why? Because NPR owns everything, and we might as well just admit it and not even try. But thanks for listening to this first episode of the Masterclass podcast. I think we nailed it. I really do. I think we knocked it out of the park here, folks. I, 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 think, I, think, this is, I think this is a winner. We might not have to do a second episode. This might be, this might be a one-episode miniseries. Perfection off the bat. So thank you for listening. Hopefully there will be a second episode next week. Look out for it, because there will be, and we'll explore more things at a further depth. This was a special investigation episode. Next episode will be a normal one, where we are in our studio talking about shit. This one we had to go places. But thank you for listening! Maybe we'll do that again. We'll go other places. You know, I talked about the Olympics in that one segment, but uh, <laughs> it's boring. I don't know why the Olympics keeps happening. It's it's boring. But good on them. They're athletes. They're great. Maybe I'll do an Olympics episode live from Rio de Janeiro. So be on the lookout for that one, you sons of bitches. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody. Masterclass Podcast is a 
NPR podcast, proudly supported by listeners like you. NPR, listen now. Listen to NPR.